Aloha and good morning. My name is Kawaii Fit and I'm a realtor up here in Anchorage, Alaska. Today we're talking about for sale by owners. Lots of people do sell their houses for sale by owner and usually they have quite a bit of experience and um, you know history of purchasing homes or selling homes on their own. I know before I was a realtor I sold two houses as a for sale by owner and I felt comfortable doing that because I've, you know, my husband and I have sold or, and purchased and sold about five properties. He's a real estate appraiser. I felt our background was justifying the fact that we could handle the paperwork. We knew the basic routine and the basic process of uh, selling and buying houses. If you don't have a lot of experience selling a house, if you don't know what's typical, if you don't know if people, you know, most sellers are typically paying $4,000 closing costs. If you don't know what's typical in your market, if you don't know where to find all the documents, if you don't know what forms must be filled out by law, you know, that kind of stuff, it might not be a great idea to do a for sale by owner. Uh, I do have two big takeaways for for sale by owners. Number one, there's a reason why realtors exist. All right. It's a full-time job. And I know that when I was selling our houses by myself as a for sale by owner, and I already had my full-time job on the side that I was doing, and then I was also fielding phone calls, I was also going to get the house ready to be shown, then I was having to wait for people to come, I had to wait for them awkwardly while I stood around the house and they walked through the house with their realtor, and it was, it felt like another full-time job. So it can be... A lot of work so just just a heads up I mean feel free to do it it can be a lot of work second of all there are a few different ways to for sale by owner your house and there are some groups in individual counties or municipalities and they're, they're companies that you actually pay and you can put like you can give them some money and then they will put your property on MLS or on the multiple listing service which is really nice because that's where everybody's gonna be looking. All the realtors are gonna be looking on the MLS and from MLS, then all the properties that are listed in there are dispersed to Zillow and everywhere where the public's looking. So it's a great idea to work with a for sale by owner company that will help you know, push your property out so that everybody can see it. But be careful because sometimes you just pay them a flat fee, which is nice in the beginning, but they aren't going to be doing the typical things that other realtors would be doing, you know? Especially, let's say you are leaving out of state and so you wanna sell your house, but you've already packed up, everything's in the moving vans, you guys are heading down to the lower 48 and uh, so your house is gonna be vacant, all right? And uh, let's say your house is gonna be vacant and it's gonna be winter time too. Uh, realtors, it depends on the realtor, it depends on what your contract says and everything. We're not property managers, so we're not going to go to the properties and we're not going to um, check on the properties every day and we're not going to be ensuring that the fridge is plugged in and that kind of stuff. But you are going to have somebody to call who lives in town and you're going to say, hey, you know what, I just thought of this, would you mind running in there and throwing some uh, timers on some lamps or something like that, you know? Um, or would you mind going to take an extra picture of the fridge? Because I can't remember what the fridge looked like. Like that kind of stuff. Um, so it's nice to have that the boots on the ground. A lot of the for sale by owner companies, they are truly, you pay them, they take any pictures that you gave them and all the information about your property and they put it into the MLS or the multiple listing system and then that's it. Like they do not do anything else. Whether your property sells or not. So you've already paid them money. So I've had this happen before where people will call me and say, hey, uh, I moved down to the lower 48, I'm out of state, I am for sale by owning, I am for sale by owner, I'm selling my house for sale by owner, and I've already gone through a company, but uh, they're just not marketing my, my house, they're not showing my house, you know, they're not helping me at all, they just put it on MLS and that's that. So unfortunately, you've already paid them that money. So the client already paid them that money. And so the client would then have to pay me more money to represent them and put the house back on the market and for me to actually push the uh, property 
you know, in marketing and to be going to my groups and to enforcing the fact that, hey, I've got this four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, great backyard, mountain views, you know, like it's just a different way of doing business. So, um, it's not a bad way. I've done it before personally, and you can do it, especially if you've got the experience. And if you have a little extra time, that's very helpful. If you're out of state, if you're moving out of state, if you will be out of state soon, not highly recommended. If you have any questions about for sale by owner, feel free to let me know, type in some questions below. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, thanks for watching.